Hello everyone, it's Anne. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you today. Woo woo! <laughs> so I went to Dollar Tree. I was looking for pizza sauce. Uh, no luck. But I found a few other things while I was there. I was wanting to get this, this art pad. Um, and this is sold for for kids artwork but I know I am not the only adult crafter artist that uses this paper um, it's a very thin newsprint that's what it is it's a, it's a newsprint type quality paper it comes out sorry about the noise tears out pretty easily and it, the size 18 by 20 or 45 by 30 centimeters is really great if you if you, you can fold it in half widthwise and it's almost um, like regular paper size it's slightly bigger but uh, if you're making junk journals or whatever that's that's something you could use it for I've been using this paper <clears throat> usually as a drop paper for when I'm doing art and I sometimes reuse those drop sheets in other projects later in mixed media collage work etc because whatever falls on here when I'm working it can make for interesting backgrounds so uh, but I, I took out a sheet today so I could try some products for you while we're here. I'm very upset about the $1.50 now that we pay at Dollar Tree. Uh, we used to pay $1.25 in Canada, which I always thought was unfair. And please don't tell me in the comments that it's because the exchange rate, blah, 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 whatever. I'm, I'm not interested in that. Uh, so now that we pay $1.50, well, you know... If they would wait for the old stock to be out and they, they got the new stock, then I might be okay with it. But I know a lot of stuff that's that they're selling in our stores, they got before the price increase. So, yeah. Anyhow, so uh, $1.50 for this. Still not a bad deal for 30 sheets of newsprint. Uh, as you may have, if you've seen my other hauls from Dollarama, I've been going around buying calendars for image collecting for collage work and such. So Dollar Tree had this one, Pets Rock. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. And I got it uh, maybe to use the pictures in some collage work, but it's look, it's hilarious. It's all these animals wearing wigs and, and glasses. <laughs> I'm sure that's photoshopped, but uh, it's funny. So I got that to add to my image collection. So like I said, everything a Dollar Tree in Canada is a dollar fifty. The next flat item that I have is this sheet of engraved wood, hazel wood, one canoe. I, yeah, yeah, it's an American Crafts uh, product. That's what I thought, and. I don't know what the thickness is of this piece of wood or what kind of wood it is. It's made in China. Uh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say what type or how thick it is. So I do not know if this would cut well in the Cricut Maker if it's too thick. I really don't know. I haven't tried it, but it's definitely something that would be worth a try. I have had success in cutting certain woods that I've bought at Dollarama in the Cricut Maker. Um, I, I don't remember which ones that is yet, but uh, right now, but uh, yeah, so I don't know. And this is engraved. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I bought four sheets of this stuff because I thought it was neat. Uh, I have no idea what I'll do with it. And yeah, it's plain on one side, engraved on the other. Okay, some new to me items. They are Jot. They call this is Maker. It's a 
maker, but it, in French it says marqueur. So I think there's a typo here. It's supposed to say marker, but it says maker. So obviously this is uh, packaged overseas. Uh, yeah, it's made in China. Made in China, distributed in the US and imported by Canada. <laughs> Okay, so Jot. Yeah. And Jot has the trademark. Yeah. Okay, and Jot is, is just a private label that is used uh, by Greenbrier and uh, DTSC Imports and stuff for a lot of products. So let's see how this looks. Now this is newsprint, so it will go through it. But I wanted to try this. I was wondering if is, is this a bingo dabber type of thing? Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. It looks like a bingo dabber. Yeah, and yeah, you can make marks. So I thought that maybe this would be a, a great thing for mark making, for making collage backgrounds and stuff. It looks like it's a dye ink. The black is kind of bluish grayish, more grayish. It's not a very black black, but uh, yeah. So that's what it is. Or you, it's a bingo dauber. That's basically what it is. Okay, I like the cap. The cap is nice and thick and solid. It goes back on nicely. And I got an orange. Uh, my store had two black ones, one orange and one green. And I, didn't want the green. I bought the two blacks because I figured I would use a lot of black. So let's see the orange. And this is the orange. See the cap is really like neon color but it doesn't come out neon. It comes out more of a mm, burnt orange maybe. Mm. So it's a, it's a nice color. So these are the two I got, and yeah, I'm basically going to use these just for backgrounds, mark making, stuff like that. Okay, the other color making product I picked up are by Crafters from Crafters Square. These are Tempera spray paint. Tempera is basically a water-based paint. Um, it's, it's like watercolors for children. Tempera tends to be a little thicker. It's kind of like a diluted gouache. Um, gouache is also a water-based pa paint. And it's pretty much like a water watercolor, but it, the thickness and the uh, amount of pigment that is in these paints is what makes the difference. This bottle is dirty on the inside. I'm not impressed. I just took it out of the packaging and it's like this bottle was rolling in the dirt before it got put in the box or something. Okay, all right. So, tempera spray paint. Paints may stain, so always protect clothing and work area. Clean spillages with warm soapy water. Store in cool dry place. Shake before use, but keep the cap closed. Good idea. So I don't know if I would shake it up and down so much as I would do this. There's, is there a ball inside? There's no, doesn't seem to be a little stone or ball inside to make sure it shakes, it mixes well. So I'm afraid the spray may clog on this. If this, if the sprayer clogs, uh, usually soaking these in uh, some, some very warm water, uh, will you know dislodge any jammed up paint and you can reuse them let's see oh so this is what it does so that oh this is fun pink this is a nice bright pink get that one oh we see yeah it's a very yeah that's tempera paint it's just a, a very watery 
uh, chalky little watercolor. And this one, the other pink I picked up, they're not labeled. I don't think they have any numbers. No, they don't say pink or pink, pink or whatever. Oh, and this one leaked too. Oh, okay, whatever. That's a very light pink. Okay. See, already I'm making collage fodder. Um, and this box has the a yellow and orange. So did I mention there's two times 1.69 ounces or two times, they're 50 ml bottles. Let me get two of those. So you're basically paying 75 cents a bottle in Canada for these. That's okay, I guess. Okay, not bad. So I have a feeling that if you want to make some of these yourself, you just need to get tempera paint. You can get tempera paint at uh, kids paint at the Dollar Tree. You can buy spray bottles. I mean, I don't know if it's cheaper to make it yourself or to buy it already mixed. You can buy spray bottles like this at Dollar Tree. Uh, just, you know, you would have to water down the paint a bit and to get a spray like this. But the work here is done for you, so. Okay, and this is a, like a coral color, that's nice. Not bad, I didn't shake it much this one, so it's not coming out. This set has a lovely, shade of um, blue like teal and this green these are pretty colors again I got a leaky bottle okay I should have paid more attention in the store and let's see what we get here oh, there's the green didn't want to spray my computer this teal color very pretty color and the last color combo oh, I picked up is this one with this uh, purple and blue I like these colors. I have to say, these are really nice shades. They're not just primary colors. They're really colors that I could use. And let's see. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. And then this one. This here. purple so there you go these are these are the daubers that I got or being I call them daubers the, the makers <laughs> and these are the uh, crafters square tempera spray paint that they had so the other crafty thing I picked up were these shore living stickers I think these are really pretty with the mermaids and I got this other ocean uh, themed sticker these puffy foil stickers I thought these were super nice they had different they had other styles like this uh, of different themes of these puffy foil stickers but I have to stop buying stickers and but I wanted this, I really wanted this for the bears. So, the mammals, the bears, they're like the polar bears. Okay. 
that. And I got this is not really a new item, but it's an item that had camp come to the store, that store, and they didn't have a lot, and then they they had they just got some more. So uh, these are rub-on transfers. Uh, I really like these. They're vintage looking. These are not, not a bad value. They're a parchment sheet with a lovely vintage looking rub-ons. So got that. Got two of each of that I showed you. Um, and yeah, I, this is not a crafty product. Well, it could be. My, I want to try to use this in my crafting. It's uh, Extreme Style V05 Matte Fiber Volume and Texture Matte Finish Hold for your hair. It's for sculpting your hair, but it has. it is made with beeswax, and I want to see how this reacts on paper to see if it would make uh, papers sheer. And, you know, a dollar fifty for this is a hair care product that would that costs more in uh, other stores so that's not too bad now I did find a good deal and this is handy for crafters to clean your hands but they had these two packs of hand sanitizer gel and the reason I picked these up is because you could get they were selling the hand sanitizer bottles the smaller bottles for for a dollar fifty and that included the two packs so I was able to pick up four packs for a dollar fifty so each pack came out to 37 cents so that means I paid 18 cents so each bottle comes out to 18 cents Canadian that I wish everything was that way <laughs> now that's a good deal so I picked up four because um, we're still using hand sanitizer all the time uh, and you know these are a great format to leave in the car and have in your bag so got some more of that I picked up a pair of reading glasses I go through a lot of reading glasses I lose them I break them so I just picked up another pair this is not bad it's a dollar fifty yeah which which I'm mad about but for a pair of reading glasses that come with a case I can't complain about that then this isn't I thought a fun item I got these makeup brushes I have another one it's a smaller one I don't know where it is right now but they are makeup brushes so for $1.50 for a brush I thought that's not too bad this one is the powder brush I got it because I thought the handle was lovely with these like sprinkles inside and it does shake uh, and I just thought this would be a very nice brush to use to dust stuff off when I'm working here on my desk uh, or to use as a mop brush for watercolor painting so I got this one and the smaller one so yep yeah, I just thought it would look really pretty here my desk and look at the packaging that that cardboard insert is really pretty I'm gonna save that for something <laughs> and then last but not least um, this is something that shows up only about once a year and I often miss out on them but I I snag them while I saw them these are planter saucers they call them that's what they're called planter saucers they're just clear plastic saucers to put under potted plants and uh, these are really really handy to have in the home um, they protect my floors they protect my furniture um, they I can put a pot in here a plant in here and then put it in inside of a like a wicker basket and all that and keep keep my wicker basket safe and blah 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 and the plant drains and this instead of all over the floor so yeah these are a good deal get a three pack here of this one it does it yes these are the 10 inches 25.4 centimeters they also have 
them in the eight inches and these come in a four pack and the last one I got was the six inch size and these come in a six pack so very good for my plants to keep my plants from damaging my my surfaces uh, but I'm sure there's something there's also crafty uses for these uh, in the craft room if you're looking for some inexpensive plastic very lightweight containers uh, you know to keep from making a mess <laughs> check those out and that's it for my Dollar Tree haul today um, I want to thank you so much for watching um, I hope you got some ideas maybe or not and oh look once the black the black maker <laughs> it says on there maker dries it doesn't look black does it it looks more like a navy blue so now you know so you know that oh well if you want like navy blue go get the black so yeah that's it my friends thank you so much for watching take care of yourself please like comment share subscribe and until next time stay crafty bye